Farmington author Scott Siegert and Farmington Hills illustrator John Martin have a new book published, Vordak the Incomprehensible, How to Grow Up and Rule the World. What Vordak is, okay, he's a supervillain. He's, he's a little older. He's an older supervillain. And he tried for years, 20 years, he tried to rule the world, okay, using every evil thing he knew. And he never quite made it. He came close a couple times, had some good things happen. But he never quite made it, and he decided to retire. Can. If you're a supervillain, you know what it's like to have a superhero constantly thwarting you after all the efforts you put in. So Hordak finally had enough and he decided to retire, but what he did, he wrote a book with all his secrets, okay? All his supervillain secrets that would help you rule the world. There's everything you need. This teaches you how to concoct your evil plans, to uh, create your evil lairs, to design them. Choose your costume. What kind of costume you're wearing, your helmet, your masks, how to issue ultimatums. We'll use the power to speed up time while Martin teaches the students at Power Upper Elementary School in Farmington Hills how to create an eight-legged minion. Martin collaborated with the kids at the school, so they came up with some pretty funny suggestions, such as a pincer arm, a butterfly wing, and a clown's leg. The book itself includes Seeger's humorous words and Martin's equally funny illustrations. To top off their impromptu minion drawing, Martin drew an antenna flying the Power School flag. Though like any disreputable supervillain, Vordak sent his minions to do his dirty work, he couldn't resist trying to make an appearance of power. When the teachers got word of what he was up to, they went about enforcing Power's strict no supervillains policy. Still, Vordak is a supervillain, so he wasn't defeated that easily. He found his way into the gym and set out to greet his new minions and endure the taunts hurled his way from future superheroes in the gym. Some of those future superheroes even had the audacity to grab his cape. Be careful, kids. Vordak mainly wanted to know if Seagirt and Martin did an acceptably despicable job presenting his book and the evil ideas it contains. Satisfied with what he heard, and with some awful final thoughts, Vordak disappeared to hatch new plots and practice his evil laugh. <laughs>